One can thus say that using Pulpatec in regular endodontic treatments greatly simplifies not only the practitioner daily work but also the variety of instruments required. We will now proceed to the description of pulpotomy carried out in various different cases which each present a specific situation. The first case is on a very decayed, but still vital, 17 stews where accessibility is poor and on which a temporary protective obturation has been placed. As a first step, obviously, a local anaesthesis needs to be made. Then, the roof of the pulp chamber has to be removed with an X-long surgical burr number 200. and the vital pulp excised from the pulp chamber with a tungsten carbide endo burr. The pulp chamber is then shaped with a pear-shaped diamond burr. Once the tooth is prepared, the required amount of Pulpotec liquid and powder is mixed on a glass slab. and inserted into the cavity with a large diameter rotary paste filler.
seal with a temporary cement Place a cotton roll between the dental arches and ask the patient to bite it firmly and progressively so that the pulpatec clings to the walls of the pulp cavity as well as to the root canal orifices. The second case shown is pulpotomy performed on a tooth number 47 used as a bridge abutment. Again, the first step is the anesthesis of the tooth. Followed by the removal of the roof of the pulp chamber with an X long surgical burr number 200. and the excision of the vital pulp with a tungsten carbide endoburr. Once the pulp chamber has been shaped with a pear-shaped diamond burr, Insert Pulpatec with a large diameter rotary paste filler. <laughs> 